welcome to true projects in this video we are going to explain about the project that is live event detection for people's safety using nlp and deep learning before getting into the execution first let us understand what is the project about sound sound it plays a crucial role in helping us to understand what is happening in our environment every event that may be positive or it may be negative it produces a unique auditory signals for instance celebrating and social gatherings they are often accompanied by joyful sounds like laughter music and conversations on the other hand dangerous situations such as accidents disasters or criminal activities also produce different distinct sounds that such as screaming breaking glass gunshots or sirens these sounds can provide essential information about the nature of the event however despite the presence of these auditory signals detecting dangerous situations in real time is still a challenge in many cases victims find it difficult to effectively communicate their distress especially during critical moments when every second counts this difficulty in communication often delays emergency responses putting levels at risk the ability to detect and analyze these sounds as they occur could be key to improving the safety and providing timely help to those who need the help and with the rapid advancements of the natural language processing and deep learning technologies we now have the opportunity to use the technology in way we never thought possible before one of the exciting possibility is using these tools to listen to understand the sounds around us to improve the safety imagine being able to identify a scream or a glass breaking in real time immediately recognizing that something dangerous might be happening so by analyzing all this by analyzing these sounds such as deep learning algorithms so by analyzing these sounds using deep learning algorithms we can classify them to detect potential threats this could allow us to send out alerts faster and more accurately helping to prevent harm and ensuring that help arrives when it is needed the most this technology which is advancing quickly could truly make a difference potentially saving lives and making our surroundings safer It is an area of exploration that is becoming more important as technology continues to evolve and its impact could be incredibly valuable in improving how we respond to emergencies. The idea behind this project is to help is to keep people safe by listening to certain dangerous sounds. So here we use a dataset that is taken from the Kaggle repository which includes audio captured by a smartphone's default microphone. These recordings pick up the everyday background noises like conversations, traffic or even things like sirens or glass breaking. The system's job is to analyze these sounds and categorize when something potentially harmful happens such as scream or a gunshot. and to make sure that system can accurately identify sounds here we have use multiple algorithms that is multiple machine learning algorithms they are nothing but long short term memory that is lstm 1d convolutional neural network which is 1d cnn and 2d convolutional neural network that is 2d cnn think of these models as the trained listeners that have learned to distinguish between different types of sounds such as safe noises like children playing or dangerous noises dangerous ones like gunshots or glass breaking These models are trained on a wide range of audio samples including both safe and dangerous sounds so they can become good at recognizing the differences. Moving on to the extension part to further improve the accuracy of this project the LSTM model is enhanced by incorporating bidirectional GRU that is bidirectional gated recurrent unit layer. This changes the this change improves the model's accuracy by allowing it to process audio signals in both the directions considering not just the past context but also the future context this is particularly useful when for detecting potential threats more effectively as it captures a full picture of the audio significances moving on as the other part additionally the alert mechanism has been updated to send notifications to a user defined email address rather than a fixed one If it detects something concerning it automatically sends an alert to registered e emergency email making sure that help can be quickly dispatched this way people in dangerous situations don't have to rely on being able to call for help services help themselves the system can detect the threat and ensure that action is taken immediately the customization makes the system more flexible and user friendly allowing for personalized alerting based on the user preferences This update enhances the system's practicality ensuring that alerts are sent to the right place whenever a potential threat is detected.
Moving on to the implementation of the project, we have followed the steps of the flow of work. So first, let us understand what is the step that we have followed. So first, we have imported the packages. So we start by importing necessary Python libraries and packages that are needed for data processing, feature extraction, and machine learning, and also the web development. Then comes the data preparation part, where we load the audio files from the Kaggle data set and then clean them by removing any irrelevant and noisy data. Then we convert audio files from stereo to mono format and reduce the sampling rate to 1600 headset for consistent audio quality. After that, we extract mill spectrogram features which represent the audio signals in a form suitable for machine learning. Then comes the feature extraction, where we loop through all the audio files and extract mill spectrogram features for each. Then we create, then we assign all the features to X variable and label to Y for training the machine learning model. Then comes the visualization part, where we visualize the distribution of the audio class tables to understand the data. And then plot MEL spectrograms for selected audio files to highlight the characteristic sound patterns, making it easier for the model to learn from them. Coming to data pre-processing here, here we shuffle, here we randomly shuffle the data set and divide it into two sets. One is training set and the other one is testing set. In training, we will be having 80% of the data set and in testing, we will be having 20% where training will be used to train the model and testing for evaluating the models. Then comes the next part that is model training. Here we train the machine learning models that is LSTM and CNN as we mentioned already using the prepared training data set. Enables them to recognize patterns in the audio. Coming to the next part, model evaluation. Here we evaluate the performance of the trained model on the testing set using metrics that are accuracy, precision, recall and FN score to determine how well the models are performing. Coming to the part of front end, we used PLAS framework to build a simple web interface where users they can upload audio files, integrate a login and registration system with SQLite for the user management. In the front end, users they provide audio files as input to the system via front end interface. Then we then that uploaded audio is pre-processed, that is converted and feature extracted to prepare it for the model prediction. And the trained model processes the pre-processed audio and predicts whether it contains any potential threat. It detects which, what is that sound is. And the prediction result along with any irrelevant information is displayed on the front end interface for users to view. If a threat is detected, an email is automatically sent to the user's registered email address informing them of the predicted threat. This is how we implement the project. Moving on to the algorithms used. These are the algorithms that we have used in this project. This is the extension part and these are the proposed models. Moving on to the requirements to implement this project, we need basic requirements, which are hardware and software. Coming to hardware, we need operating system of Windows, processor of 5.5 and above, RAM of 8 GB and hard disk of 25 GB. Coming to software, we need application of Anaconda, primary language of Python, front-end framework of Flask, backend of Jupyter Notebook, database SQLite, and front-end technologies are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap 4. Now let's execute. To execute, we have to open the code folder that contains source code files. So these are the source code files of the code folder of the project. Let us open the first folder and see what is there. Here we have the data set that is used in the project. So here we have total 80 audio files that are used to train the models. And here in this also we have audio files. Total 873 audio files we have in this folder. So we will be using this data set to train the models. And here in this model folder, we have the .h5 files, pickle files, numpy files, which contain the algorithm information. And that will be loaded into the project during runtime of the application. Here we have static folder. In this, we have CSS, JavaScript, and bootstrap files, which are important for the visual appeal. Coming to templates folder, this folder contains all the HTML pages used in this project. It typically includes files like index.html, about.html, etc., which represent different pages of the website. And in this, we have test audios that we will be using in the front end to detect the to predict, predict the threat. So these are the audio files that we will be using in the front end. And here in this app file, app, that is app.py file, we have this .py file contains the information related to front end logic. So in this, we have front end logic. It includes code written in Python that handles server side operations, such as processing user requests, interacting with the database, and generating dynamic content to be rendered in HTML templates. And here we have Jupyter Notebook file. This Jupyter Notebook file contains the combination of code graphs and outputs all in one place. It allows users to write and execute code in individual cells. 
And here, this is the signup.db file. This is the database file, which is used to store the user information. Now copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer. I'm copying the path. Now open the command prompt and give the command CD followed by the space and paste the copied path and now click on enter. Here, if you observe, current directory is changed to the code folders path. Now we have to compile app.py file. So give the command python space app.py and click on enter. This command will execute Python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues. After running the app.py file, Flask framework will host the application locally at the default address, which will be the local host and the port unless configured differently. So it is being loaded here. This is the local host and this is the port. So this is the local address. This is the local link where the application has been hosted. Now copy this local host, copy this local link provided by the Flask framework and paste it in any web browser. I prefer Google Chrome, so I will paste it in that. Paste the link here, click on enter. So this is the web page of the project, which is displayed in the browser. This is developed using Flask framework. Now we need to sign up first, click on sign up and enter all the registration details if you are registering newly. I have already registered, so I will directly sign in, click on sign in, give your username and the password and click on login. We have logged in successfully and we are redirected to prediction page of the project. Here you can see a choose file button, right? We need to click on that for uploading the audio files. Now, before uploading the audio file, let's see, let's listen to the audio and then see whether the application will correctly predict or not. So first let's listen to the audios. Open the test audios folder. So these are the test cases. Let's listen to the first audio. So you heard a glass breaking sound, right? Close it, get back to the application. Now let's upload the same file and see whether it will correctly predict as glass breaking or not. The given input will be processed at the backend. That is the audio file will be processed at the backend and then train model will be giving us a prediction. So here it has correctly predicted that audio threat is detected. That is glass breaking sound. So here glass breaking has been detected. And this alert will be sent to the registered mail address. Let's try predicting some more. Click on choose file. Let us upload the first, or I mean, class one audio file. Click on predict. So your air conditioner sound has been predicted. Now let's try uploading some more. Let's try uploading the second one. And click on upload. And your dog bark has been detected. Let me hear you some more sounds. So now let us upload the fourth one. So let's play the fourth one. You heard children sound, right? Now let's upload the same one. This one, right? So click on open and now upload it. Here for the given audio file, here we got the prediction as children playing has been detected. So here children playing is predicted. Now let's try uploading the sixth one. Before that, let's listen to that. You can hear a drilling sound, right? Let's upload it. And click on upload. Here, you can see that drilling is predicted. Now let's listen to the audio seven. Let's play it. So now you have heard the dog barking sound, right? Let's try uploading that. And see whether the application will correctly predict it as dog barking or not. Here we got the prediction that dog bark. Now let's upload, before that let's listen. So let's upload the last file. I'll play it again, you listen again. So you can hear a gunshot sound, right? Let's see what will be predicted. Click on open 
and now upload it. So here, this is the uploaded one. I mean, the file for the file which we have uploaded here, we got the prediction that gunshot has been predicted. So this predicted output will be sent to the registered mail ID. Now let's check with the graphs, click on graph. Here, the first graph which we have is the sample outcome graph. Here, this shows the class distribution of all the classes that we are predicting in this project. On the x-axis, we have all the classes that we are predicting and on y-axis, we have the count. Here, we can see count of each particular class. And here, if you observe, cracking fire and glass breaking are in the less number. Moving on to this graph, this is the confusion matrix graph. Here on x-axis, we have the predicted class and on y-axis, we have the true class. Here, the diagonal represents the actual predictions and above the diagonal and below the diagonal are the misclassifications. This is the accuracy comparison graph. Here on x-axis, we have accuracy comparison score and on y-axis, we have all the algorithm names. And here we have precession score, here we have recall score, and this is the FN score comparison graph. Accuracy, precession, recall, and FN score are the metrics used to evaluate all the models that we have trained. Now click on sign out. In this way, just by uploading audio files to the system, then that is the application, then that will predict which type of audio file it is. And after predicting the threat, it will send an alert message that is the predicted output to the mail registered mail address. So this is all about the project. Thank you for watching video. For more projects, please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.